Well, guys, we know that the bodybuilding world can be very, very strange sometimes, some days. It has crazy stories, and I wanted to tell you three quick stories today. So, let's start with the first. We had the issue with Dallas Macau collapsing on stage at the Arnold Classic Australia because he didn't take antibiotics, even though he had bronchitis problems. Hopefully, he didn't have any infection because there was some some bodybuilder okay who did it and he got a worse result than Dallas obviously so there was a bodybuilder who was refusing to take antibiotic near show for an infection on his shoulder for fear of water retention the infection he failed to address later required an amputated arm sadly that wasn't enough even and then he eventually died it's a crazy story crazy story okay but there are bodybuilders, you know, there are bodybuilders like that. I had a friend who was a competitive bodybuilder and his buddy, who was a competitive bodybuilder also, um, he had he had cancer and he took bodybuilding related medicals or PEDs, which enhanced that cancer, okay, and made it even worse. And the person who was watched such addicted to bodybuilding or not even addicted he wasn't you know he wasn't a top bodybuilder he wasn't a pro or anything like that but bodybuilding can make people addictive even though it's a hardcore lifestyle it's not you know eating those five six clean meats or whatever is not that fun okay it's a hard lifestyle but people get addicted and the person was so addicted that he no matter what continued to take those PED sports enhancement drugs and even were did things worse with cancer and I don't know what the end result was there but maybe they have to because the doctor didn't promise him anything good so next story a kid told me in the ninth grade that not taking a shit would help you gain weight he also included that if you lay on your back while you sleep you won't fart any of that extra fruit you ate away and will totally get bigger and stronger. I never saw that kid again. I think I think that story, you know, is so strange that it's you know it's not even funny. <laughs> but I read it up. Maybe some guys want to hear it. But you know, there are probably p- people over there who believe those tips. So even you know, if a bu- guy is big, okay, doesn't mean that he knows that much doesn't mean that he wants to help you uh, you know he wants to help you with your progress in bodybuilding but people believe everything you leave when somebody is big so don't believe anything you hear especially those suggestions okay next story last story um we all know that arnold schwarzenegger arnold arnold schwarzenegger the real pronunciation of his name like to fool around and to make fun of other bodybuilders or you know to play a little jokes so one day Arnold told a competitive bodybuilder okay very thought okay this guy is dumb probably will believe those kind of stories he told him in order to get full and fuller day to day preparing for a contest he should supplement heavily with salt starting with one tablespoon on the first day (coughs) two on the second three on the third etc arnold said the guy got to about day 30 before he got sick and had to give it up i'm not sure whether arnold was making these up but they are great stories nevertheless i think that this story could be very very true okay when you know arnold a little bit and heard his stories this story seems pretty real funny and i'm surprised that the guy got to date 30 and believed this so guys if you like the stories give it a thumb up subscribe to my channel write your comments into the comment section and i will continue to hit you up with videos stay tuned and if you have you know, if you have different stories, funny stories, strange stories, considering bodybuilding, your experience, 
considering any gym visits, trainings, you know what I mean. Write it in the comments. If I have funny stories, if I get some funny stories, I will do a video, okay, where I tell your favorite stories. And of course, if you don't want me to, I will hide your nickname. So don't worry at all. You can be, you know, you can stay anonym, anonym, you know you what, what I mean. You can stay hide it if you want me to. Bye. I'm very, very keen to read your stories.